Back to the Storm Alert Center we go. The heaters will be working tonight, Paul Bears. Cold night tonight, uh, Greg, into the teens in many, many spots as you get away from the big cities. At the bus stop, you're really going to need to bundle up the kids. It's going to be in the mid-20s in the city, and again, teens to near 20 in the outlying areas, So, especially over the plateau. Uh, 50 by about uh, 3 o'clock into the afternoon, we'll see a lot of sunshine uh, for tomorrow. So again, just remember that. This is where the heavier snow was over the past uh, day or so, uh, really about 36 hours. Heaviest snow has been well to the uh, west of the city, including northeast Alabama and southern half of Dade County into the western part of uh, Walker County. And then especially over, it looks like now, uh, Monroe County and further off to the north, although we did get reports of uh, two to three inches of snow, especially north of Chattanooga and out near the Hiawassee Dam. We got some pictures out of that. I'm going to show them to you tomorrow. On, and then out near uh, Unaka, too, some pretty good snows and close to a foot of snow up near Gatlinburg. Now, all that snow has faded out of our area. It's all off to the north now, coming off the Great Lakes on your Buffalo, New York, and we've got pretty much clear skies. I've uh, changed this satellite photo to show you the deep dark blue. That's where the cloudiness is. And these are all lifting off towards the north and the east. And out to the west, those are high clouds moving in. And you see this little area of what looked like uh, the rivers. You can see the rivers out there. That's where the, the warmer temperatures are. Uh, and all the cold, cold air is surrounding that, uh, those rivers. And there could be a little bit of patching of freezing fog in a few spots, but not that much. Winds are calm right now. It's already 30 in Cleveland and Chattanooga, 27 in Dalton, 23 in Athens and Dayton, and 22 in Murphy, 24 Altamont, 25 on your Fort Payne, so some really, really cold air, and it's going to get a lot colder. 41, 31 was the overnight low today, and just a trace of snow earlier this morning, right after midnight. So, Skywatchers called in with some snow. Uh, we had about two inches of snow out in your Fort Mountain. Otherwise, uh, we had pretty much less than that in most places. 42 Dalton, only in the mid-30s for highs today out over the Blue Ridge Mountains. Now, we had about a quarter of an inch to a third of an inch from Lakeside to Sidey Daisy. About three quarters of an inch of snow up near Mulberry Mountain. And uh, otherwise, our temperatures getting pretty close to 40 degrees. Almost two inches of snow up near Pikeville. Half inch out near Cagle Mountain. About an inch of snow near Altamont. And about a quarter of an inch out near Riceville with a half inch in Delano. Inch and a half, though, out in Turtletown. Also, downtown Murphy had about an inch and a half. Now, all the rain's going to be out to the west of us for tomorrow. We're going to see just uh, maybe a few high clouds. That's about it. It's a beautiful day, but it's going to be cool. All the rain by noon on Thursday is going to be to the west. Could see a sprinkle Thursday night, but the best chance for the rain will be coming up on Friday, and that'll last through most of the day. And then into the evening hours, it's going to fade out. Could get a sprinkle or two, maybe a flurry into the Blue Ridge. And by Saturday afternoon, just some clouds and a pretty brisk wind. And we could see a good three-quarters of an inch to maybe nine-tenths of an inch of rain out of the storm system coming up on Friday. But tonight, in the city, 24. But you get away from the city again, with those clear skies, you're going to see some teens to near 20. 50 tomorrow, sunshine in the city, a little cooler away from the city again. 30 tomorrow night, so not as cold, but that's still pretty chilly. And the seven-day forecast, 52 Thursday. Good chance for that rain Friday. Saturday, maybe a brief snow flurry or two into the Blue Ridge in the morning, and that's it. Then 54. 52 Sunday looks like a nice day. Monday and Tuesday look pretty good, too, although still pretty cool. So everything either near normal or below normal for the next seven days, Greg.